Right, this is our stairway just going up. So I'll just show you. There's the old vacuum cleaner. And um, that's my bedroom in there. That's a Viper, an exercise piece of rubber. And in here, well, as we know, this is where it all happens. And there's my uh, Dell Inspirin 1501 laptop up uploading and video to a YouTube. Um, let's have a look where the progress of it is. It's. Uh, I've got. Um, you can see my shadow there. <laughs> and the light off the camera. It's. Um, this thing opens. It's not coming out of. Um, I hope it's not crashed. Oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm trying to use that mouse and I've disconnected it. I think. Oh, here we go. I forgot I'm using the trackpad. Oh, I've got 10 minutes left. And then vlog 007. And this one I'm figuring, feeling, uh, filming now is going to be. Vlog 008. Um, it's uploading. It's got, I don't know where you can see that, um, nine minutes remaining. So that one will be live soon. And then I will be putting this one together, editing it, or not editing it, but just making it into a one segment because I tend to film them in using this camera, which is a Flip Mino HD Ultra. What I tend to do is film them in clips, you know, rather than just keeping it on all the time and then there's a in the software there's um a way of keep getting I'm just gonna keep getting gunk on the uh, lens. Yeah there's um I forgot what I was gonna say now, I've lost my thread. <laughs> it's gone, ever ever that happened. Um yeah so I just um film the clips and then just tack them all together with a piece of software, it's called Make A Movie and that joins them all together and adds a little bit of a, a fading effect as you might have noticed so it gives like a smooth transaction uh, transition to the um, to the clips so this one will be done in 8 minutes and then I'll be um, putting this one together it takes about takes on, on this machine it takes about like, uh, perhaps half an hour, depending on how long it is I mean. I've decided I'm going to keep them to about 10 minutes because that's what most people seem to do or shorter, I mean it just depends but I'm hoping today I should have another one up I'm quite enjoying this actually it's given me something to do and uh, it's a new avenue I'm really enjoying my vlogging time I just wanted to um, show you something this is a conversation that's going on in a group that I'm a member of because I'm doing some social media training at the moment um, called Boom Social Media Mastery and um, one of our members has have been having a problem um, with somebody because she's been posting things on Twitter etc I don't know whether you can see that it might be a bit blurry but um, I'll, basically she was saying something on Twitter and this chap's come back uh, Aaron Toker his name is what a name <laughs> for a start uh, I can't remember what the other one said but something about what you're saying is irrelevant etc and um, our member labelvalue.com has said yes we are a label company and we also we are also people and we care about a customer base where customer driven might label value which is fair enough and his reply is I'm not questioning that however most of your customers won't be spending time interacting with you on Twitter just a tip well <sighs> is that really true I mean would be would a lot of the uh, big companies like Pizza Hut and Dell, I mean, I mean, would you say that to them? I wouldn't say so. I mean, if your customers are on Twitter for a start, then theoretically, if they're talking about you and you're actually showing up, it shows something. 
and also this guy's engaged with her so I mean what's all that about I mean has he just he's a numpty there's another name to add to the list that some people have uh, put up put, put already but you know uh, I just want to wonder about these people perhaps they've got nothing else better to do than go around and um, just saying things for the sake of saying them um, <laughs> quite funny really because a lot of people, well companies especially, are on Twitter these days. And does it really matter what you're saying as long as you're there? I mean, you never know, somebody might want to interact with you. I mean, they might have bought some labels and there might have been a problem with them or something. And, you know, you can give them, you can be there, sort of straight away, giving them customer support. So, um, if you come across a, a Muppet like this or... Somebody, I would say don't give them a time of day because um, especially people like Aaron Toker, they're just a waste of time. It's not worth the time and effort. That's my take on it anyway. Um, uh, there was a quite a long thread about, um, about it, you know. But, yeah... Obviously, this um, this guy's got no idea about social media at all. He's um, a bit of an egghead. That's my um, take on it, anyway. So uh, there you go. Good morning, everybody. In YouTube land or wherever else you are, it's uh, quite early in the morning. I don't even know if you can see me. It's dark, quite dark in here, actually. Um, that's what time it is. It is, uh, I'll just um, switch my computer on, so it's uh, five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know we get, um, with it being so hot, uh, like I said before, I can find it quite hard to sleep at times. So, um, but I'm hoping that I did manage to get enough hours of sleep uh, I did wake up a few times because it's so humid I'm just going to um, open the window and let some air in because it's a bit well, warm in here uh, the temperature it's at the moment it's 20 degrees in here and the humidity is 50 it is very humid in here, so just thought I'd open the window. Um, I don't even, you, you probably won't be able to see me because it's so dark, <laughs> but um, yes, four minutes past five. I don't know whether you can, whether you can see that. It might be. The focus on this camera is not that good here, but it's uh, four minutes past five in the morning. So, quite an early start to my day. It'll be interesting to see what I managed to get done. And, um, yeah, it might be an early finish today for me. We're doing starting so early. Oh, the yeah, it's so humid in this country, it can be. Especially in the summer. Uh, even with the window open now, it's... Um, yeah, very humid. You know, there's a sort of stickiness in the air. Could do with a bit of rain or something like that. Oh well, can't have it your own way, can you? So the next thing to do is uh, go and get some breakfast. Just open the blind. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we are. It's another lovely, lovely day. Well, it's um. Let's go open the door. Ooh, oh, lovely. Do you see some birds flying over there? I don't know when you can see them. It's uh, nice and cool out here. 
I've got a tent in the shed. <laughs> my, the, thought, it, the thought has crossed my mind that um, I might actually sleep out there one day. Right, now, just got to decide what to have for breakfast. So, just close the door. Not exactly sure what to have. seem to get through quite a lot of them. I quite like eggs. I'm trying to eat more protein because apparently it makes you feel full for longer and um, it can help you lose weight. I'll find somewhere to put these eggs back. So when I make an omelette I tend to use four eggs. So, that is what I'm going to do.